Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another <clears throat> review, episode reviews, or uh, multiple episode reviews. So yeah, this time around I'm going to be doing reviews for reviews for episodes 6, 7, 8, and 9 of season 2 of The Flash. Um, so yeah, if you noticed recently, I've been combining a few episode reviews together, just to give my, my thoughts on each of them. So yeah, and as to why I'm only doing these four, uh, it's because these are the last four up until the mid-season finale, I've reviewed um, episodes 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 individually. And 6, 7, 8, and 9, I haven't. And those are the ones up up until the mid-season finale. Mid-season finale, episode 9 being the, the mid-season finale. So I'll continue from episodes 10 till whenever I eventually catch up. And yeah, I'm assuming I'll do a review, individual review for whenever they reveal who Zoom is. Um, they've already revealed who Zoom is, but I haven't, I don't know who it is, so, you know, I'm trying to keep that surprise for myself, and, yeah, in very fast, episode 6, um, is called Enter Zoom, episode 7 is called Guerrilla Warfare, episode 8 is Legends of Today, and episode 9 is Running to Stand Still. So before I begin, though, 10 seconds of spoiler warning as usual for those of you to actually watch these episodes and haven't already, stop the video, go check it out, and come back and watch the rest of this review. 10 seconds of spoiler warning as usual, starting now. Okay, so 10 seconds are up, so for those who have yet to actually watch the episode and haven't already, um, please don't comment down below or be messaging me that I never gave you fair warnings as usual I did. Um, so yeah, as usual, quick synopsis, likes and dislikes, and then the rate for every single episode, more or less. Um, so I'll start with episode 6, Enter Zoom. In this episode, you have um, you have Dr. Light, it's, she escapes her from her contain containment cell, and Barry Allen, or the Team Flash or whatever, they don't know how to attract Zoom. Their idea to attract Zoom was to get Dr. Light to kind of battle Barry, like it was faked, but to battle Barry and pretend that he is killed or whatever. Um, but, but whatever, they use a Dr. Light's double, double gang or Linda Park um, from the Earth-1 Linda Park or uh, the, you know, the Linda Park that we've already known. And they kind of use her to kind of lure Zoom in, however that fails, eventually Zoom does come back and attacks Barry, um, he fights with Barry, and Barry is more or less knocked out unconscious, and Zoom just kind of takes his body, um, shows him to the news station, to the police station, to downtown or whatever, He's, he goes to several spots and says, you know, this is your flash, he's a weakling, I'm gonna kill him now, I'm gonna make sure it's public, whatever, so he runs out, and as he's about to kill um, Barry, um, slash the Flash, we had Cisco, I believe. Um, yeah, it was Cisco who shot Zoom with the serum. Basically, what the serum does is take away his power, take away the speed force stuff, but whatever. He still had enough speed force energy to escape. So, yeah, and at the end of the episode, um, we, have, we also have a discussion between Harrison Wells and Zoom, and it's revealed that Zoom has Harrison Wells' as, um, daughter, or the, the Earth 2 Harrison Wells. He, um, he has the daughter. Um, and yeah, at the end of the episode, when Harry wakes up, he can't feel his legs and he's paralyzed. So that's um, episode 6. On episode 7, Guerrilla Warfare, um, you have Barry's dad who comes back. Um, he's basically influencing... He's, he's motivating Barry Allen to keep being the Flash. Uh, you know, this is just one bump in your great adventure in your great career as a superhero. It's just one bump. I mean, you're not always going to win. That's basically what Barry's dad is there for. And yeah, and basically Guerrilla Warfare, Guerrilla Grodd comes back and he's causing um, causing chaos. Um, he wants to create more <laughs> Guerrilla Grods, I guess, or more, yeah, I guess more Guerrilla Grods. So he, ki he kidnaps Caitlyn, who is the one person he actually trusts, and he hopes that she can make, um, some uh, a similar situation to the particle acceleration explosion to create more gorilla grads. Um, Harrison, well, I believe, yeah, Harrison Wells um, gives the team Team Flash the idea that they could rescue Kate, um, Caitlin, Caitlin, and at the same time send gorilla grad to to Earth to where there are other gorilla grad animal things. I guess you know similar animals with gorilla grads condition where you know they're sentient and they could talk and speak and think and whatever. So, they do that pretty cool action scene at the end, um, with Caitlyn kind of being there for bait at the end, so that was pretty cool. 
And the way they do this, they, they send Gorilla Grodd through one of the portals, and that overall was pretty cool. Episode 8, you have Legends of Today. Um, this was set up for the Legends of Tomorrow spin-off show. Um, basically, in that in that episode, you had Kendra, Kendra Saunders. Um, you had Kendra Saunders. She's been dating Cisco for, for for a couple of days at this point, and Vandal Savage decides to come to Central City to try to kill um Ke um Kendall, um Kendra Sa Saunders. So, so yeah, it is basically like a crossover episode episode in a sense because they do go to air um to the Arrow and they do talk to Malcolm Merlin and all this and they kind of um they kind of um. Tell them the the history of you know Kendra. We have the other guy who comes in the the other the other guy uh, the other guy Carter. Um, his name is Carter Hall, but the other half. So you have Hawkman and Hawkgirl who are official now. Um, they're an official thing in the DC TV universe. And yeah, you have um some pretty cool fights with Vandal Savage. And it's basically you know at the end of the episode um they leave the Hawkman and Hawkgirl leave Vandal Savage. Um, goes and leave. Um, Arrow. The stuff with Arrow was pretty cool. Um, actually, you know, I lo I love that show. Um, I again, I haven't really had time to to watch. And when I do watch, I'm gonna be doing reviews like this, just like um, crunch up a bunch of reviews. So yeah. So overall, pretty good episode as a whole. And episode nine, running to a standstill, was the Christmas episode and the mid season finale. Didn't really feel like a mid season finale. Um, last and during last year's season finale, they kind of it felt like a season finale. Um. Uh, but this one, it just felt like a holiday episode. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but it just didn't feel like a mid-season finale. Finale, maybe it's because I didn't watch it during the mid-season finale when, you know, when it originally came out. So maybe that's the situation. But for me, personally, it didn't really feel like a mid-season finale. It was cool, nevertheless, because you had Weather Wizard who took out, um, who took out, uh, Snart, who took out Captain Cole and the Trickster from prison. So he rescued them from prison, and basically what their plan was gonna, um, Captain Cody really doesn't want to be part of it, so you just have the Trickster and Weather Wizard, and they're basically going to bomb kids, in a sense. They're going to give them Christmas presents, which are ultimately bombs. So what happens, what happens is that you have Cisco and, you have Cisco and Harrison Wells and, um, the other Flash, um, Garrick, um, Garrett, um, the original Flash, Gar Garrick, Jay Garrick, and, and they're basically, uh, make this port, and they, they send all the bombs to one portal. They get the main bomb, one one of the main bombs, and through magnetism, they're able to send it through a portal. And because of the magnetism, the rest of the bombs will go. They explode and whatever, whatever. Um, all all well ends well. All yeah, all well that ends well. And in the midst, we have Harrison Wells, who it seems, in order to save his daughter, he's gonna betray the Flash. And I will. I I kind of want to say it's kind of a retread of it, but not really because last season, in the last season, Harrison Wells was betraying was betraying Barry Allen from the start. Here, it just kind of seems like he has no other option to save his daughter. So that would be interesting moving forward. Forward. So yeah, nobody tell me how it is um, down in the comments below. Please do not put any spoilers. I have not heard anything yet. So yeah, but overall, some pretty cool episodes. I really like them all. I mean, any negatives? Um, oh, I mean, Patty. I almost forgot. Patty, her story was pretty interesting throughout, throughout all this. It turns out that Weather Wizard... Um, I'm not sure if it was if it was before he was Weather Wizard or after he was Weather Wizard. They, they didn't really clear that up that much. But um, during that time, somewhere around that time, Weather Wizard did kill her her father. She's been trying to get revenge. We also get the introduction of Wally West at the very last scene of Episode Nine, which is which was incredible, in my opinion. Um, the guy they got for Wally West. I'm again. I'm I'm only up until episode nine, but the guy that um, he looks like Wally West. Now, can he actually act? I mean, he got like a few lines in this episode, but you know, whatever. I mean, he looks like Wally West. So I really do like him. Um, already. So yeah, I mean, yeah, you have um, Iris. She's dealing with her inner demons. You know, should she tell Joe about Wally that he exists, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. Eventually, she does, and Wally West comes, and <laughs> yeah, um, Patty's story that she wants to kill um, she wanted to kill Weather Wizard because he killed her father. Eventually. With the Flash's help and convincing, she eventually gets over that. So yeah, over um, pre some pretty cool story arcs. We also had Caitlyn and um, Jay Garrick. It seems like they start a relationship towards Episode 9. Something that's been building up ever since he appeared in the show. So overall, pretty cool as a whole. Um, I want to say the weakest episode between all this was Guerrilla Warfare. I mean, I just don't feel like the stuff with Guerrilla Grodd is all that exciting. And even after that... Gorilla Grodd doesn't look like that that good, like CGI or whatever. The special effects for Gorilla 
got Grodd don't look that good, in my opinion. I mean, they look better than Season 1, I'll say that much, but they just don't look that good, and when the, when the effects aren't that good, it just kind of takes me out of the experience. So that's why I say um, Guerrilla Warfare is, in prob is probably the weakest episode within these four episodes, in my opinion. And yeah, I mean, as a whole, uh, as a whole, episodes six, seven, eight, nine, and and, and nine were all great episodes, all good or great episodes. But, but if I had to choose one week, I'd have to say the stuff with Gorilla Grodd because I just don't feel because bad. I mean, compared to the rest of the show, uh, shows special effects. Okay, the special effects for Gorilla Grodd are okay, but if you compare that to some of the other special effects they have in the show. It's kind of mediocre, so yeah, I'll say that the Gorilla Grodd got better from um, got a better design from season one to season two, but whatever. So yeah, episode six, episode six enters um, um season two, episode six enters Zoom. I'll give um on a scale of one to ten, one being the worst, ten being the best, and six being decent. I'll give it a seven out of ten. Um episode um season two, episode seven, Gorilla Warfare. I'll also give a seven out of ten. Um. Season 2, Episode 8, Legends of Today, I'll give an 8 out of 10, because there's actually some really good setup for Legends of Tomorrow, which I also have to catch up with. I've only seen the first two episodes, and I've only reviewed the first two episodes. So yeah, the, um, it's kinda, the first two episodes were kind of weird um, for Legends of Tomorrow, because the way they did it is like, Pilot Part 1, and then next week, Pilot Pilot Part 2. So I didn't know how to review it, so I'm like, fuck it, since they're both called Pilots, I'm just gonna watch the first two episodes, call it Pilot Part 1 and Part 2 review or some shit like that. So yeah, um, so yeah, Legends of Today is 8 out of 10, and Season 2, Episode 9, Run, Running to Stand Still, which is the mid-season finale, I'm also gonna give an 8 out of 9, uh, 8 out of 10. So yeah, overall, pretty good episodes, great episodes, again, if I had to choose a weak one, I'd be Guerrilla Warfare because of the special effects with Guerrilla Grodd. Um, and when he talks, it's kind of weird, like, his, the voice is good, it's just, like, it just looks weird, um, like, I, it just doesn't look believable, so, I'm, like, it's, we it's a weird, I, I don't know how to explain it, because it's weird, um, like, the way he talks, like, his voice, yeah, his actual voice sounds great, but, like, the way they kind of sync it up and stuff, it just, like, kind of looks weird, in my opinion, so... Yeah, and that's something I'm gonna have to get used to for the Jungle Book once I review that. Um, which is one of the reasons I'm not really that excited for the Jungle Book, despite the great reviews it's getting and the fact that I just watched and reviewed the original Disney animated Jungle Book on my channel. So yeah, um, okay, I'll leave all the ratings and all that down below. Um, just to go over it again, ent ent um, um, Season 2, Episode 6, Enter Zoom, 7 out of 10. Season 2, Episode 7, Guerrilla Warfare, 7 out of 10. Season 2, Episode 8, Legends of Today, 8 out of 10. And Season 2, Episode 9, Running to Stand Still, 8 out of 10. It should have put Running to a Stand Still. It sounds kind of weird without the A right there. Whatever, so that, that's basically it for the reviews. Um, like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. Whatever you guys prefer. Um, comment down below, like the video, share on Facebook. Um, yeah, whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart, signing off.